Hey guys, welcome back. So we are still on Dremercast, um, towards the end of Dremercast. We shouldn't be on here for too much longer. Um, but we are currently about to go into the Dark Temple uh, to explore all of this possessed shit um, to take out long, like, asleep Sith Lords that have now woken up and all of this. Oh, it's just one thing after another. Uh, we have got quite a decent bonus to defeat 35 of these possessed Sith warriors, uh, workers, sorry. Um, so we will just do some of this, because uh, I know for a fact that the if there's a high presence of players, getting quests done inside the temple can be such a pain. Um, so we're going to try and do as much of it as we can uh, out here. God, they die way too fast. Uh, yeah. So we need to find the Ravager, which is going to help Darth Barris get into the mind of the uh, Republic prisoner he's got in his office. Then we are recovering a plasma torch, which is going to seal up all the like tombs of the long dead Sith Lords that we don't want to wake up and cause more mayhem than the one that has woken up already has. Um, do love their monuments. And we've got to They're look for the Lost Expedition. Doom, you can tell them, uh, mission accomplished. Yeah, so there's a Lost Expedition as well that went in uh, that we need to find them too. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I know sometimes it can get a bit confusing uh, following along with um, the quests because we do like, so many at, uh, at the same time. Uh, but I will try to the best of my ability to reiterate the story it's like before we move on to the next part and uh, trying to make it as least confusing as possible for everybody but I think this one is pretty straightforward we're just going into the temple and we're just going to kill things that's basically all we're doing I mean we're nowhere near the temple entrance and we've already pretty much almost completed this specific bonus Paranoid archaeologist, confused scout. Okay, so these are guys aren't possessed. No mess with us now. But they oh okay, so it says insane, so not specifically possessed ones. It's just the insane ones. Okay, come work with that. Let's just refresh that buff. Nice level twenty. Uh, and we've got a saber staff that we can't use. Um, oh, combat proficiency! Um, so I'm pretty sure it was one of these. So you generate four rage on stunned, immobilized, put to sleep, or knocked around. Additionally, the cooldown of unleash is reduced by 30 seconds. Which one's unleash? Uh, which one's unleash? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and then sleep. Let's do this because I think. Um, getting more fury no matter when it's given to me even when I'm like um, it's just for um, when I'm stunned or anything that will be handy to us in the long run for like longer drawn out fights especially when like boss fights and stuff so that will be good so let's see how quickly we've done the bonus now so I'm not particularly bothered about killing all these people we are three levels above the level cap of the planet um, so really around here, I think it, you're supposed to be more like 15. Um, Cap's usually two or three levels above what the uh, what the level is now. in here. So we're doing very well. Hopefully it continues. Nice. Hallucinating Trooper. Alright, into the Dark Temple we go. Uh, we don't really need to sell, we've got loads of space. Where should we go first? I think I tend to go left to right, so let's do that first. Let's just put that, can I put that away please? Thank you.
Man, I could make a fortune in here. You think maybe I can just take a little? No? Okay, okay. <laughs> Love listening to Bet. <laughs> No, oh, shame there's not like an indoor bonus. Hello, Dorian. Do you dare approach the great Nil Venerous Lord of the Sith? Master of the Undying Darkness, answer me. What insolence brings you to this place, slave? You talk big, but I smell your fear. You're no Sith. What? You're not afraid of me? You aren't a mindless puppet like the rest of them? I don't understand. I still have my senses, but someone here is out of his. You're right. I was out of my senses. B but not anymore. I... Yeah, I was part of an expedition sent by the Empire to measure strange activity in the Dark Temple. But soon after we entered, we all became... different people. I became the mighty Lord Venerous, and the others became my obedient followers and servants. Wait, you said you were part of an expedition? We were gathering data for the Empire, and then we were all suddenly... possessed. It's strange that you seem to be unaffected. In fact, it's strange to find you here at all. I thought the Imperials gave up sending people in here. What exactly are you doing here? I'm doing a vital service to the Empire. So the Imperials haven't given up on getting their precious data, after all. This is lucky. You see, ever since I came to my senses, I've been worried that my followers will begin to doubt my leadership. I can't lose my power. I can't go back to being a slave. But maybe... maybe we can help each other. It wouldn't be hard for me to eliminate you and your followers. Well, I guess that's true. Except except I'm the only one who can make all the others turn in their data. All, all I ask is that you find the symbols of Lord Venerus's power. They were looted from his tomb by the people possessed by Venerus's enemies. The symbols will help me reinforce my followers' belief in me. Lock them in their dream. I'm making no promises. Be careful. Venerus's old enemies will put up a good fight. His... Oh, I've done this quest before and I just find it annoying. Oh well. Okay, so now we have to recover the symbols of... Symbols, symbols of power. Um... And we also have to kill certain... So the explorers. No, I don't want you. I want you, because... These are the ones that everyone fights over. Oh, come on. Give me something. Shit. Why is it so annoying? Eight does so much damage. Uh, okay, let's do another explorer. These ones are always really hard to find because people just just get them so quickly. But these are the um, only ones that the symbols of power come from. Oh, and I'm not getting any loot. So annoying. All right, let's get this um, plasma torch thing. Boy, don't run from me. You gonna give me anything? No, of course not. Right, got the symbol of power. Uh, let's go up. Oh, let's do these guys first. Oh, ideally, I don't want to go upstairs and then I have to come back down. Oh, see, there's one. Um, let's go and find the Ravager. All better. Ooh, creepy. 
possessed heavy trooper. Oh, got similar power from him. I didn't realise you could do that inside another instance. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. This is amazing. Oh, we only got one though. No fun. Oh, give me a symbol of power. You know you want to. Ah. Oh well. We've got one. Here the Ravager is housed. By the looks of the device, it's clear that scavengers have recently dismantled key pieces of it. You'll have to reclaim the missing pieces in order to repair the Ravager. Brilliant! Fine. Probably should have come in here first. <laughs> oh, the camera does like a really weird like bounce up and down. Like, uh, when you're going up the stairs, it's quite jarring. All right, are you gonna? Are you part of the quest? Yeah, you are. <laughs> You know what, I think they've increased the amount of people that you could um, get this quest from. I don't remember you being one of the people. Yes, return to Dorian. Uh, but also, recover rapture pieces components. Ravager components number one. Come on, you know you want to give me one. God damn. You, not you. Looks like it's only the... Well, not you, but I've already sort of come near you now. Ravager components. Ah, it's not them. Not you. So I think it is confused explorers. Not you, but you're in the way, so I'll kill you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Was that me? That sound. Sounded like it. Okay, let's go kill these guys before someone else does. Come on, I want at least one. Just give me one. Yes, come on. Still got two more to find, unfortunately. Oh, something in my eye. Excuse the noise. <clears throat> Do these guys count? No. My network of spies reports that you crushed my enemies underfoot and found the symbols of power I requested. Just give me the data so I can leave this place. I had not forgotten. I too have been very busy. Here is the data my servants collected before the temple transformed them. Let the Empire make of it what they will. I hope your face never spoils my view again. Actually, that reminds me. There's one last itty-bitty little thing you can do, you see. Power is useless without subjects. So, I'd be grateful when you turn in the data, you'd encourage the Imperials to send more expeditions my way. I'll take it under consideration. I can assure you, my gratitude, if you send more slaves to be my followers, will not be insubstantial. Hmm. Hmm. Probably not. If it's an option to say no. I don't actually remember. Um. Okay, so we need to find the Ravager components. Uh, and then go upstairs. Uh, but those c only come from the confused explorers, annoyingly. And there are... aren't any. 
these people. I've been killing them all. Um, I'm going to go upstairs. Nobody better mess with us now. I think they're upstairs as well. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Yeah. Oh, let's get you. Come on, someone give me one. Oh, it's so annoying. Well, I've had really good timing, so someone's obviously come through, killed them, um, and now they're just respawning. Yes. Oh, thank God for that. All done. Let's go fix the Ravager. That was lucky. Otherwise I would have to come back down again. What's this? Oh, have we got something better? Oh. Oh, now we're all grey. I like this better. We look Nobody good. better mess with us now. We look very military. Like, very sleek military. Lord Vacus. It was foolish of you to return here. Uh oh. Looks like we got another fight on our hands. Those pieces you took from my minions belong to me. They will enable me to exact my revenge on Lord Farshall. I am Lord Vacuus, the conqueror of Begeddon, the killer of Garatak the Singed. Return what you have stolen or burn. I choose burn. Die at the hands of Vacuus. Vacuous. Your name reminds me of a vacuum. Yeah, he's fairly tough. As for a slave who thinks he's someone he's not. Oh, I didn't even get any loot from him. That was simple. And that is done for that bit. So now we can concentrate on uh, sealing the first chamber door. So this is where, so we've got the torch. Now we just need to make sure that all the doors are sealed and then all of those are upstairs. Uh, so we'll, we'll need to come out of here then to the right and up the staircase. Nobody better mess with us now. God, this takes forever to come up here. Uh, whilst sort of avoiding the fighting, if we don't have to do it. I'll fight the ones that are in the way. But if we don't have to, I'm not going to. Yes, we'll have to fight these guys. My saber's a cooler colour than yours. Yeah, there's loads of confused explorers up here. I should have just done these guys. You know what? We actually do have quite a lot of money because of that. Um, those uh, that. Uh, stuff that we got, the 25k credit chip, so I'm not going to worry too much. Oof. I'm not going to worry too much about getting the loot if it drops and it's only like blue. What are you doing? Having said that, you know, just pick it all up. I seem to remember Lord Farshall was 
was a quest at some point, but I don't know where. Maybe that's just like a heroic one or something, but it's definitely... I remember talking to him way back when, like years ago when I first started this game, but his quest sort of disappeared from the normal side quest, so I don't know whether it's just someone I missed talking to. Or something like that, maybe. This always does the trick. Alright, let's try avoid all these people. Oh, I didn't realise it would do that, so I leapt over that possessed Sith neophyte uh, because I did that. Um, I didn't aggro her, even though I went through her path. Let's weld this. Hello, stranger. My internal chronometer tells me it has been exactly 963 years since this hologram was made. Have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long? Your name, now. I am, or was, Kenneth Ur, a born Sith and follower of the Force. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor and was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this, an interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tomb and unlock it. Actually, I was trying to seal up this door for good. Then it's true. The Sith still cower in fear of insignificant me. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. What's the secret then? It's a lie. Fear is a lie. Passion, a lie. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the Force comes when one is no longer afraid. And one can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself. And allows the Force to guide him. There is only the Force. You are an imbecile. My peers obviously did not think so. They considered my teachings dangerous. What I learned only lives on through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the Force. Eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. These heresies must be destroyed. Then do so. Strike out against knowledge and see what comes of it. If you destroy these teachings, the light does not go out. Remember, fear is not the only way. Uh, okay, and that is that. So we're pretty much done in here now. Uh, let's just... I think there is a quick travel there. There should be. Yeah, there we go. Gotta love quick travels. Now let's speak to Lord uh, Alaric first. You're back. I hope you sealed the chambers of the ancients. Keleth Ur's chamber especially. I'm terrified to think what would happen if Keleth Ur and his crazed ideas were to re-emerge. His secrets have been destroyed forever. Keleth Ur's secrets have been contained along with the other ancients. You have done well. Very straightforward, very quick, and that's done. Uh, let's speak to Captain Physic. Ah, oh, the only thing more powerful than the Dark Temple. Any luck getting that data? Here's your data. As promised. Hey, you actually came through. Can't say I was expecting that. Can't say it's not a relief. Now we can finally stop sending expeditions in there, wasting all those slaves who should be building monuments to the Empire. Actually, I think data like this calls for more expeditions. Had a look at it, did you? Well, it's not really my call to make. But I'll forward your recommendation to my superiors. Your business is always welcome. Goodbye, then. And thanks for the data. Your service to the Empire will not be forgotten. Nice. Um, uh, none of this is better than what I've already got, so that's fine. Uh, and now we're going to go back to Darth Barris. So quick travel again, up to the Sith Sanctum. 
Oh, we're so close to 21. We're like exceeding my expectations so well. I mean, we only get very, don't get very far on this. It just dismounts us as soon as we come around this corner. We may have some more skills, but I th think we probably will more likely to on the way out. Yeah. Hello. When I sent you into the Dark Temple for the Ravager, I thought it might be the last time I saw you, Apprentice. The prisoner grows weaker by the minute. There's no time to spare. Stand back and bear witness. You're wasting your time. I will not. <laughs> Yes, the Ravager has seized his mind. Excellent. In his condition, we don't have long before the ordeal liquefies all brain matter. I hope the results are gory and gruesome. I do not care what we see as long as I hear what I want. Republic Worm, you have the information I desire. Tell me everything. I am Republic information service on special assignment to verify possible imperial spy on Nar Shaddaa commissioned by Jedi Council acting on suspicions provided by Master Noman Carr Noman Carr that's a name I grow tired of hearing what's the problem who is Noman Carr Noman Carr is a Jedi Master who infiltrated the Sith. I rooted him out. Then he nearly destroyed me and fled. He's dedicated himself to proving that the Sith have spies embedded within Republic and Jedi ranks. I've thwarted him at every turn, but he is tenacious. How did Noman Carr come to suspect my spy on Nar Shaddaa? Tell me, Republic wretch. What alerted him? Master, Noman Carr has a new Padawan. She seems to know any being's true nature. She senses hidden darkness and untapped purity. Astonishing. I've never heard of the Force granting such a gift. Tell me, how does her power work? All I... All I know is, when Master Noman Carr brought her to Nar Shaddaa, this Padawan sensed darkness in your spy simply by seeing him. This is a serious threat. It is the doom I felt. The disruption in the Force. If this young Padawan can see through deception and disguise with such little effort, she threatens everything I have worked for. Continue, Republic Dog. Car believes his Padawan's ability is foolproof. But the Jedi Council is skeptical. I was to provide the proof, but I wasn't able to report my findings. We must know more about this Padawan. Yes, my apprentice. Such a threat must not wander the galaxy unchecked. Who is this Padawan, you Republic pest? Tell me everything you know about her. She was found on Alderaan. Her power first emerged, training on Tatooine. And Jedi sent another agent to investigate someone she suspected on Balmora. He's fading. Is she human or one of the Jedi's cursed aliens? Where can I find her? What is her name? I have not, nothing, nothing more. more uh, uh. The Ravager has emptied his mind. 
that is all we have to go on. A few random places within the greater galaxy where Noman Carr and his Padawan have been. It's a start, Master. That device did the trick. You are correct. We now have leads to follow. Noman Carr is a relentless crusader. And this Padawan and her unprecedented power threaten everything I have achieved. Your duties are likely to take you to the far reaches of the galaxy. I will need to deploy you at will. You shall have a starship of your own. You've earned it. Go to my personal hangar in the spaceport and claim it. I'll head there immediately. I must ponder our next move. Waste no time. Get your starship in my hangar and wait for further instructions. Yeah, uh, let's go before he tells me to clean all this up, okay? Wow, that was quite a long one. Um, but really go. interesting. Uh, let's just have a look and see what the stats are like on this new one. So 44 to 67, 10 mastery. So it's not enormously better than the one we have already, so I'm not going to bother swapping it out. Um, now we're going to go to the war hangar. That's the war hangar? The Sith warrior hangar. Jesus, sometimes I wonder why I even bother. <laughs> um, You're strong. Why did it say? I guess one that was... Oh, never mind. Uh, let me speed this. And here we are. Um, I accidentally took the wrong speed <laughs> to the wrong place, so I had to quickly You're good to go. go to the right one. Um, Sith Warrior Hangar. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to get our own speeder. I mean, ship. Um, the one that I think the one that we get for the Sith Warrior, I think it's my favourite one. The Bounty Hunter one's alright, but it's a bit like ragtag, sort of like, stolen for one in the story. Uh, whereas this one is like really sleek and nice. Oh, I wish we had like a four speed little burst. Like you do on Jedi Consulate, oh, just click it and then you have like three seconds of super speed. Take a look at that. We're going in style now. Nice ship. A reward from your cowardly master for killing Lord Grethen's son? I can neither confirm nor deny those rumours. So that's the party line, eh? A true Sith proudly claims his murders. So I will surely stake claim to my murder of you. A true Sith lets his lightsaber do the talking. You have guts? I'll give you that. I am Lord Grethen's top assassin. He sends me to eliminate those he wants to suffer the most. I'm here to kill you, friend, for murdering the son of my master. Time to shut you up. These are the last words you will ever hear. I doubt that. There's no pushover. Give him that. Unfortunately, you're no match. Oh man, this the whole like getting the fury is so annoying. I'm gonna spam one. Nice. Use your ship's hollow terminal. Now we have a galaxy map, and actually, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to purchase this. Uh, so it just means that wherever we are on a planet, we can instantly teleport to our ship. Uh, which just makes it so much easier so they don't have to travel to the sodden space stations all the time. Jesus, I haven't been on this ship in such a long time. Alright, I'm just going to skip through this. Because I don't care about you at all. So he's he's just like this... Um, he's another companion, but he doesn't really do anything. He just sort of is there. 
Or at least I don't do anything with him. Um, now let's speak to Vet. So, hey, I've been thinking. Maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. You will mind your tongue, slave. Forget I said anything. Ooh, we are very mean. Do I have anything I want to put away? No, I don't think so. Uh, we do have some missions in here, but I'm pretty sure these are going to be space quests. Flight Commander Pyru. No, I that's a space quest. I'm going to just speak to. I'm, I'm just the Prentice, pass. I yeah. trust you find your starship satisfactory. It's an outstanding vessel. I hope that it serves you well. There is much to be done. My interests must be protected and my enemies destroyed. Noman Carr's efforts to expose my spies and prove his Padawan's power to the Jedi Council must meet with systemic failure. You will exhaust yourself in this charge. You honor me. The information we siphoned from that Republic agent will be our map. We know my spy on Narshadar was being surveilled. We know where this Padawan was discovered, where she trained, and that the Jedi have sent someone to investigate my spy on Balmora. The Padawan will have to be hunted down and destroyed, but first you must secure my network by silencing my spies on Balmora and Narshadar. Consider them wiped from existence. Nothing less than that will be sufficient. My contacts on Balmora and Narshadar will detail what must be done. Your tasks are paramount, Apprentice. Bring cruelty. Bring rage. Bring death. Okay, well we're pretty much, we know what we're doing now. Uh, well, let's speak to Vet again. Okay, hey, Sith Master person of questionable temper and such. I've been extra good with the behaving. Did you notice? So, how about taking the shock collar off me? Give me your word that you'll still obey. How about some non-obedient sort of following directions? Like a person, instead of a pet? You are an alien. Why would I treat you like a person? At least I'm not Sith. Which means I may have some spark of goodness somewhere. Fine. Fine. Lead on, O oh Sith of Siths. Far be it for this wretched slave to take up more of your time. I was under the impression that they, pure Sith, were treated like they were aliens, but may, perhaps I'm just remembering that wrong. Um, well, let's go. I'm going to press Shift M to open up the map, um, and I'm pretty sure one of these has a lower level. So that's 20 to 24, and this is 16 to 20. So we'll want to do Balmora first. Um, no, it should automatically take us into the holo terminal. Just wait for the sound. And there we ah, go. Ah, you've arrived on Balmora. Excellent. Your contact there is Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I trust you'll find him most helpful. I have no doubt, Master. This is an important mission, and I only entrust the finest. Quinn will meet you in his offices at Sobrick headquarters. We will speak again as soon as he has briefed you. Okay, use your ship's hollow terminal. That's done, uh, so now we can go to Lieutenant Malavai Quinn's office. Uh, I'm just going to hide the Narshtar one, because uh, we won't be doing that for a while. You're good to go. All right, so now we are obviously coming up to the end of the episode time, uh, but I will just get our quest 
um, just started so that we have an idea of what we've got to look forward to in the next episode. You'll also notice we've got our first um, proper planet story arc that we're going to completely ignore. It feels so satisfying ignoring those because they're such long quests. Uh, these are all heroics. Um, that is a mission terminal. I'm pretty sure that's going to just be the same. Oh, okay, what's this? So, by order of Licenius Melchiro, Imperial Governor of Balmora, resistance forces outside Sobrook have ambushed a four Jubak convoys sent to the Troida military workshop within the past week. Pretty intelligent tireless efforts have revealed seismic sensors hidden throughout the roads to Troida. These sensors allow the resistance to track Jubak convoys and avoid armoured walk patrols. Uh, so, okay, so we need to... Uh, volunteers are sought out to set off the seismic sensors, destroy the ambushes and bring the power cores to the Troida military workshop for study. Okay. Well, this doesn't seem like a heroic mission or anything, so let's accept that. Uh, so we've got a nice quest to, in our to do. I don't think I've done that one before, so that'll be exciting. Um, but let's just go speak to Malavai Quinn um, and get this quest. We want to know what we're sort of doing on Balmora. Sir, I apologise, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best, you're useless to me. I can shoot you dead with a clear conscience. Is that what you want? No, sir. Then focus, Jillins. Dismissed. I apologise for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn, I'm to be your liaison here on Balmora. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And to you, my lord. Lord Barris will brief you personally, but I'm to acquaint you with the climate here on Balmora first. By all means, go ahead. Even though the Empire wrestled control of Balmora from the Republic during the war, we were never able to completely eradicate them. There is a rather sizable resistance movement. No one wants to admit it, but it's clear that the Republic is backing it. The Republic cannot be tolerated. I agree, my lord. It is my dream to see our enemy vanquished. I have a secure line to Lord Barris. I'll patch him through immediately. Ah, I see you have convened with my apprentice. Very good, Lieutenant. Leave us. Quinn owes his career to me, but we should keep the details of your mission between the two of us. We must act swiftly. Noman Kars Padawan has directed the Jedi's suspicions to my undercover spy there on Balmora. Do you recall this? Of course. I remember everything. Good. I'll get to the point. My spy is Commander Rylan of the Republic Resistance. He is the central contact for all my operatives in this sector. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. That means we have to cover our tracks before you kill Rylon. Your first mandate is to destroy evidence that links Rylon to the sabotaging of Balmora's defense systems during the war. To do so, you must break into the satellite control tower. Quinn reports that the tower is a death trap of mechanical security. I'll handle anything that dares get in my way. This task is priority one. The Jedi's investigator could be zeroing in on the evidence as we speak. Quinn has everything you'll need. I'll summon him back. Remember, he is not to know the reason for your mission. I'll be in touch. My lord, I've prepared what you need for your assault on the satellite control tower. In order to destroy the mainframe, you'll mount this charge to the base and activate it. Then contact me and I'll be able to detonate. That was bizarre, getting a group invite um, just out of the blue like that. I'm not sure where that's from. I wasn't in queue. Okay. Um, okay, so let's check this one. So this one looks like it does sort of a, quite a bit more damage. Or oh, Axie power, force power. Yes, yeah, so what we'll do is we will get another of our crystals. Um, let's get a magenta one and just put that in. So now. This is much better than the one Nobody we had. Nobody better mess with us now. Nice. And I think I'll leave the episode here. So next episode we're going to 
start the mayhem. So thank you very much for watching and tune in next time.